Hey everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Cyborg Superman action figure. This is figure number four from Wave 11, which contains the Kilowaga Collect and Connect figure for the Wave. And uh, I bought this figure about two months ago at a Toys R Us uh, for $14.99 and uh, it was one of an entire set of Wave 11 they had on the pegs and uh, I ended up uh, getting all, all the figures uh, I needed to complete a Kilowog uh, figure and uh, this is my last of the Wave 11 figures that I'm uh, doing a video of so as soon as I have this uh, opened I'll have uh, my final parts I need uh, to complete the figure. Uh, taking a look at the Cyborg Superman uh, figure in the package here, uh, it's actually uh, pretty nice. Uh, I really like uh, the detail that's gone into this figure. Uh, and uh, down below you can see the uh, head and uh, lower torso of Kilowog. Looking at the back of the package here, you can see uh, the other figures from Wave 11. We have uh, Cat Matui, Shark, Dead Man, Cyborg Superman, The Question, John Stewart, and Steppenwolf. Uh, the variants for uh, the Wave are Dead Man uh, with uh, semi-translucent, uh, I think it's uh, arms and legs, and Steppenwolf, which is a uh, completely uh, different design from what's pictured here, uh, the, the variant being uh, a Jack Kirby uh, design. Taking a look at uh, the biography and statistics uh, for Cyborg Superman, uh, it's pretty interesting reading there. I never really followed Cyborg Superman that much. I know he was in part of the uh, the Reign of the Superman storyline uh, and also uh, maybe the Sinestro Core War. Uh, but that's as much as I know about the the uh, character. Okay, let's go ahead and open up uh, this figure out of the package, and we'll be right back. Okie dokes, uh, Cyborg Superman is out of the package, but first we'll take a look at the uh, Collect and Connect uh, pieces that come with the uh, figure. Uh, first one uh, we'll take a look at is uh, Kilowog's lower torso here. Uh, it's got a nice uh, set of green underwear here. Uh, even with the DC comic uh, name imprinted on there instead of Kilowog's name on there. And uh, the next piece we'll take a look at is the uh, head of Kilowog. And I was surprised to find out this head is actually made out of a softer rubberized plastic instead of solid uh, plastic. Uh, it's actually uh, nice and detailed. I like the, I don't know if that's slobber or not, but... Uh, some uh, wet like painting on his nose and mouth I think it's kind of neat uh, but this is the head uh, of Kilowog and the lower torso of Kilowog that comes with the Cyborg Superman uh, figure set taking a look at uh, Cyborg Superman in more detail it's actually a very nice uh, sculpt uh, obviously a retool of the Superman uh, figure but uh, Completely new arm and a uh, uh, nice uh, addition over here, a nice uh, added sculpt on the, this half of the chest. And also uh, just a, a different head altogether. It's very detailed. I really like the arm on here. Uh, the sculpting is just very nice. Also over here as well, along the chest area. And the head is very nice as well. Uh, having that ha half uh, mechanical and half uh, biological uh, head there. Very nice and detailed. Although, um, looking at the head from the distance, it looks like a little small uh, compared to the rest of the figure. Uh, but uh, when you look at it in more closer detail, it looks okay. But from from a distance, the head looks a little smaller. I don't know if it's because of the, the split and the... Uh, the living tissue and the cybernetic uh, part of the head. Uh, and uh, he has a, a cape here. Uh, 
It's, I don't think it's quite the same as the Superman cape. This one seems to be much longer. It practically goes to the bottom of his feet here. Uh, but uh, I like the paint uh, app over here uh, of the Sinestra Corps uh, logo on the back of the cape and also, of course, the on the chest area. It's a very nice figure. I really, really like it. Although, uh, when I was reading the package, uh, the back of the package, uh, it said that Cyborg Superman had five power rings, but uh, there's only four here. I'm not sure where the fifth one is, if it's stored internally uh, or not, I'm not sure. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to know where the fifth ring is. <laughs> uh, but going over the articulation of this figure, the head goes all the way around on there. And the arms, uh, if you really work at it, do go all the way around, um, like so. But the, the cape uh, prevents a lot of the movement of uh, the arm going all the way around. Uh, the arm also goes out only this far on the cyborg arm, but goes out a lot further on the, uh, the flesh uh, portion. Uh, the biceps uh, go all the way around, the elbows bend, and the uh, hands uh, rotate all the way around. The torso uh, goes down, and it does go back, but the cape uh, prevents a little bit uh, going back. Uh, the waist does go all the way around. The legs are on a T-hinge uh, crotch, so it goes up, down, back, and out to the side. The thighs rotate, and the knees bend, and the uh, feet bend as well. Overall, it's a very nice uh, version of Cyborg Superman. Uh, I really like it. Uh, uh, although I don't know much about uh, this figure or this character, but it, it's just really cool nonetheless. Uh, I recommend uh, picking this up if you're a fan of the Sinestra Core War uh, line. Uh, or uh, maybe even, well, not really the Reign of the Superman because this is a different costume altogether, but even if you're a fan of just the Cyborg Superman, I recommend picking it up. Uh, but this is my casual peek into the DC Universe Classic Cyborg Superman. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.